Hello there folks. This quick video today is going to talk about how to use sendgrid.com as a SMTP relay server. So in this case what I've done here is I went to a website called sendgrid.com and I signed up for a free service here with them. No credit card needed, no nothing, just a valid email address and maybe a phone number for two-step authentication. And once I did that, I was able to get into their system and in here I did a couple things. One thing I did it down here in settings. I went down here to mail settings and in the uh, allowed address list here, I went ahead here and I added my email address right here. So I went ahead and set that up in here. That's already, that's the from address. So you got to put that on there. And I think it sends you a link and you got to click on it to authorize it. That's the only thing I did was allow that. And then up here under the email, API right here in the email API if I click on that you have dynamic templates and integration guide I recommend you use the integration guide click on that and that'll bring you through a three-step system here they either have the web API which is if we were running a PC based or Linux we could use these but in this case we're using Red Lion system so we're going to use the SMTP relay service I'll hit the choose button here and then on the choose button, I got to create a key. So I uh, put some in here before. Let's try something new. I'll call this one my first key. And I'm going to hit the create key button here. Boom, right there. So there's my key. I'm going to recommend that you highlight and copy this. And I recommend you paste it on a uh, notepad or something. So I'll paste it here. That way, if I need it later, I can come back to it. Notice in here it says that the server name is smtpsendgrid.net, and you've got these different port numbers. I recommend you use either 25 or 587. And then here's where it's interesting. It shows you here that the username is your app key, and then the password is that API key I just copied. So once I get done putting this in, I'm going to hit I've updated my settings. Now I'm going to click Verify Integration. So that's going to put that key into use into the grid law. Uh, uh, send grid application now that I've done that I'm going to go over to crimson and on crimson I'm going to go over to the left hand side go to communications I'll slide down into services click on mail manager first tab is mail I want to make sure I got that enabled I can put in a unit name here whatever you're calling your device that's what it'll send out to uh, not send out to but the name it'll put on there and then if I click the edit contacts brings up a list so you can put your name here and email address. You can put multiple email addresses by putting semicolons. You can even make these tags. I've got other YouTube videos on how to make these tags where you can enter them off the display page. But in this case, I'm going to have my fixed email address. Notice that's uh, contact zero. I'll click OK. Now, if I go to the SMTP tab, here I've got transport mode enabled, server selection, manual configuration. I've got that name here under this is fixed name, not an IP address, but a fixed name smtp.sendgrid.net there's that port 587 and then down here in reverse path I'll hit the edit button I've got my name and I've got that email address that I set up earlier in sendgrid so that's that validated email address and then down here in the uh, login method I've got it set just to login there's that name username app key and down here for password I'll do control V to paste the password in a couple of things you might want to do down here if you slide down I'm going to enable the record log file. So if you have an SD card in there, that'll log it in there. And I'm also going to turn on the debug output. So that's what I have there. Let me save my program. Now I'm going to go over here to data tags for testing. I've got a flag tag. And on the flag tag, if I go to the alarms tab, I'm going to choose active on. I'll put in some text here, whatever I want to send. And then over here in mail to, because I put my name in, when I hit the pull down, I can pick my particular name. Again, that's what you set up in your email addresses. And then I like to leave the acceptance on this as manual because I'm not going to put a uh, alarm viewer on here, so I'm not going to clear it. I'm just going to leave it automatic. Every time this thing goes on, it should send me an email. Okay. On my display pages, I simply have a toggle button here. And when I toggle it on, it turns on tag one, which should generate that message. And that's about it. Turn it off. doesn't do anything. So... Every time this goes from 0 to 1, it should generate that alarm condition. Uh, also in here, I'm using the web server so that you guys can see this. And on the web server, if I go to Features, 
I have remote viewing enabled. I have remote control enabled because I want to work this over the web page, not the HMI that's in front of me, so that way you guys can see everything. I like this bare displayed scale. I love that because you can shrink the screen or make it bigger. It looks really good on flat screen TVs. And then if I slide all the way down to the bottom for testing purposes, only for testing, once you get this working correctly, you turn this off, but I have the system pages enabled. I have enabled with commands and packet capture if I want to do some Wireshark. So I think that all looks good to me. I'm going to go ahead and download this to my HMI. There you go. And we're going to go over here and pull up the HMI here. Let it run here. So this page here is the HMI web page that's updating here. And over here is under the system pull down. I'm doing the debug console. That's what you see here. So if I toggle this on, let's see if we see some traffic here. Here we go. There you go. You can see some message went out, so forth. And now I'm going to, while that's done, I'm going to go back to the application here, Send Grid, and I'm going to click the Verify Integration. Now that I sent that out, let's see if this shows that an email went out. We'll find out in a second. Now, maybe not a second, but it takes a little time for this to work. All right, it says here it received an email. Works good. If I do via, via email, you'll see there's a bunch of stuff because I've been playing this all day. Perfect. So supposedly it sent that message out, and you just heard that sound. So now if I go down to my email server, you can see right here, there's that message from that unit. So that's really all you had to do in here to make that work with the uh, send grid. Um, that's about all I can tell you. The key parts to this is over here in communications. That's interesting. I don't know why Crimson just closed on me, but it sure did. But let me go reopen that app real quick here, team. And I'll go file, and I'll open my, oops, not that one. Boom. Oh, this is the one I want to use. Yep. All right. Shrink it down so it fits into my viewer. Anyway, so over here, um, mail manager, the key thing here, is send that there and the API and the key fits here. And that's it. Secure connection I have set to no. So that's all you have to do to use send grid with this application. Um, that's pretty much it. So anyway, uh, that's it. If you have any questions, please let me know. Uh, but that's it. It works. The key part of this was the email uh, API. So that was the real trick to this. Once you get done setting this up, you can go over here to settings down below and you go to API keys. There's that key. If I hit the button over here, I can edit the key. Like I said, it won't show you the key anymore. It's all grayed out. But uh, anyway, I have that restricted. I could go here. I don't think it matters, but I'll do this. Do update. There's the key is the same, so I don't have to change anything. So now if I, uh, I don't even need to re-download. I think it should work fine. If I go back to my web page here, where did it go? Boom, boom. Go ahead and turn this guy off. Go ahead and turn it on again. And there's the message is gone. And we should get over here another email coming in from this thing shortly. Make this one red. And there it is. There's the new mail. Anyway, that's how easy it is to use the send grid application or send send grid uh for a, a smtp uh relay server hey thanks a lot folks have yourself a great day we'll see you later